On my 20th birthday, I realized that being a woman is standing in a room full of doors with multiple exits. But instead of the sign labeled exit at the top of the door, it's a stereotype you inherit when you exit the room. The anxiety of walking through the wrong exit is the sound of nails against the chalkboard, a screeching agony that bruises the body, labels you something you didn't ask for. You were just trying to find a way out of a cage as the second sex, but no matter which exit you choose, you become displeasing. Walk through the exit sign labeled housewife, bitch that cleans up the place. Feminist, bitch that needs to be put in her place. Pro-choice, murderer. Close too tight, ho. Close too loose, dyke. Latina, 62 cents the dollar. Black woman, 69 cents the dollar. Vagina, not getting paid the full dollar. Comfortable with sexuality, slut. Virgin, prude, raped. Asked for it. At this age, I am playing tug of war with my identity. Everyone is constantly telling me what to put in my vagina, what not to put in my vagina. The media tells me I need to fill the hole to fill whole. The protesters tell me my body does not belong to me. The church says I'm a sinner. The womanizer says be a dirty girl, be a good girl, be a pretty girl, be a girl that doesn't talk too much, doesn't speak up, isn't opinionated. God forbid I say something stupid because I am female. As a woman, this world cuts out your tongue and in spite of the bite you took out of forbidden fruit, your mouth will taste bitter after all the times you are silenced. They will hold your voice in the palm of their hands and decide what is best for you because choosing the wrong exit is inevitable. I'm sitting here asking, who the hell put me in this room anyway? Was it the politicians, our fathers and brothers, double standards, Eve's curiosity, Adam's bite marks your religion, the government, MTV, Fox News, anti-feminist, who must I set myself straight with? I'm trying really hard to act like a proper lady to speak when spoken to. My, this world has trained me to be a domestic animal, an obedient creature, subservient, compliant, sexism. Is this it? You can never really seem to get rid of even after puberty, but on my 20th birthday, I realized that I am a beast waiting to break out of this cage. Think of Linus meets She-Wolf. Athena meets Tomb Raider, a warrior, fighting the everyday struggle to be more than less and not less than equal, reminding you that I breathe the same air as the man who made me and the man I make will breathe the same air as me. We will inhale and exhale the same, yet I'm bound to suffocate in this trap room that I am kamikaze waiting to blow this motherfucker up, it will happen sooner than later. I will have more scars than a man ever could. Some from birth, sexual harassment, domestic abuse, hate crimes, heartbreak, motherhood, love, war, because every day is a battle to be woman, to change and grow and learn without being judged for it, without being stereotyped, without being labeled a scarlet letter, a whore, a bitch, a psycho. I deserve to be equal, to be respected, to be treasured, but more than anything, I deserve to be free. Thank you.